I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction, here with the 3 Minute Cattle Market Update for Wednesday, February the 2nd, brought to you in part by the American Simmental Association. Explore the advantages of responsible crossbreeding with Sim Genetics. Visit Simmental.org. Uh, leveling out so far this week, uh, really uh, the market's kind of looking for a direction. Uh, there's pretty good reason for it to go either way, but we've had kind of a two week rally here and it's been pretty good. So far this week, live cattle futures, April contract was down a quarter on Monday, up 12 cents on Tuesday to end the day at 137.10. March feeder cattle, Monday was down 50 cents and Tuesday down a dime, which is the same as, as nothing, same as unchanged really in today's times. But ended the day on Tuesday at 158.05. We had a huge fed cattle trade last week on a negotiated cash basis. Really uh, is, is making this market strong. These packers haven't promised as many cattle or captive supplies to these packers as they normally do, which has brought about some pretty uh, active trade so far this calendar year and has, and has propped up this market. In the five area feeding region there, 109,600 head this past week. Compare that to the previous week with 66,300. And the same week a year ago was 69,100. But uh, just a good, healthy, negotiated cash market, which is a great thing to see. Live steers averaged 136.02. That was up $2.39 from the previous week. Dress steers 213.21, up $3.39. But uh, we've got some near term bullishness here. I know we have bigger supplies coming down the road, or cow herds bigger, but for, for market ready fat cattle, fat cattle that are. are ready to, to take the slaughter. There's just not a whole lot of big supplies of them. And like we said, uh, not as many of them have been promised to the Packers as has been the norm for the last several years. So these Packers are getting in here and, and pushing for cattle and trying to keep their, their kills light so they don't need too many, which in turn is kind of making this box beef respond positively. And, and we've just got a pretty good thing going there, but uh, how long it'll last, we don't know. There is some long-term fear out there. For you guys that are putting uh, stalker cattle together to turn out on grass uh, this, this spring and, and to run this summer, you probably want to have some protection there. Either have those things contracted for fall delivery or late summer delivery or, or get you some puts bought or do something. It's just looking like it could get dry. And a lot of times when we wind up this El Nino deal, it does get dry and when it does, uh, you know, we've been rocking along here with cheap feed and, and cheaper inputs uh, progressively for a long time. And we saw how, how quick the market nosedived there at the end of last year whenever uh, it really we didn't have any reason for it to other than the, the investment funds wanted to get out of the market. But you let it get hot and dry in the corn belt and, and I, this thing could really pull the rug out from under things and you just want to protect yourself on the bottom side. Plus we got the, the first time we're really going to see the big heavier supplies is when these calves come to sell uh, this fall, which is going to put a lot of pressure on the market and even could pressure some of our late summer and fall yearlings coming off grass. Uh, look at your cash feeders this week. Oklahoma City at 9,600 head. Uh, steers steady to $2 higher. Heifers 2 to $6 higher. Joplin uh, Regional Stockyards there in Carthage, Missouri had 5,200 head on Monday. Steady to $4 higher for most uh, steers and heifers, calves and yearlings both, with some light steers from $3 to $7 higher. Look at Cattle Market Central there in an individual quote. Loop City, Nebraska, which is a partner with DV Auction there, had 137 head Tuesday evening just after 5 o'clock, weighed 751 pounds at 161. That's three minutes. We'll talk to you on Friday.